Hey, listen, a lot of people are asking me about the trail foot being on the ground and that they possibly could be losing speed. Let's go talk about how keeping the trail foot on the ground might help you gain some speed. Now you keep the right foot on the ground for what reason now? Keeps it more stable. More stable? Sure and you don't go to the outside of the left foot ever? Ever. Never. Never. Where's your weight at impact then? Do you feel like it's left or right? 60-40. 60-40 right? On the left foot. 60-40 six, on, on the left. Yeah. Watch, I'll redo it here. Hit a 300 one. So actually you think the modern player is getting too much weight to the left side? Too quickly. Too quickly. The motion is stopping too quickly, and the club is still moving, but their their legs aren't. Ah, I see. Yeah. They got the reflex action. Right. Which is bad. So they got to get real handy then. They're playing catch up. Right. Watch this. That's good there. So does keeping the trail foot on the ground actually reduce speed? common question I get asked here about the single plane swing. If you're interested in all this information about the single plane swing, don't forget subscribe to the channel because I cover these topics and if you ask questions I'm able to cover and answer those questions as you watch my channel so don't miss out on any of that. So trail foot on the ground, right? What you see on conventional golf and conventional golf swings is you, what I call them they jump, right? They have to lift the feet off the ground to produce speed. Now keep in mind that we have to discuss rotation as an element and what you're seeing in the trail foot lifting is a vertical element. But let's be a little bit realistic about this when we talk about the vertical movement of the body. Now, if you look at the pelvis movement of a typical conventional jumping golf swing, you're gonna see a, a couple inch upward movement of the pelvis. You're gonna see this, right, that. You're going to see a straightening of the lead leg and an upward pelvis movement of about two inches. You can't tell me that a two inch vertical upward movement is helping a propel a golf ball further that direction. There's no evidence that says that, right? No, no data will show you that. But I'm not saying that a conventional golfer isn't getting benefit from that. The reason a conventional golfer gets benefit from a straightening lead leg is because it produces two things. It produces stability, which is the most important thing, and it also allows for rotation, the two most important elements of speed production. So if you looked at what's happening there, the vertical movement is necessary because a conventional golfer is sitting in two planes and has to lift to get to impact, so you need the lift, and then you need the stabilization, and then you need the rotation. So a conventional golfer needs a vertical element, a stabilization, and a rotation. So my point here is, is that the vertical movement is not producing speed. It is producing stability, which is mandatory if you're going to produce speed. So by keeping the trail foot on the ground, eliminating a vertical element, because the only reason the foot lifts is because of a vertical element, by keeping the trail foot on the ground, and eliminating the vertical element, what I'm not eliminating, see what I have not eliminated in the single plane swing is I still have stability and I still have rotation, right? And that, keep, and the foot being down is creating that limitation, but I'm not limiting rotation. I still want a fair amount of rotation, but once again, it's not as much as a conventional swing and it's a much more stable and the pelvis is moving slightly down but it's still very, it's, it's probably more stable than most conventional golfers. So I have the two most important elements to producing speed. I have stabilization and I have the rotational element, which allows me to accelerate the upper body. So people keep thinking, well, if you keep the foot down, you lose speed. Let me give you the problem with guys who think the foot is down is they think that the weight is actually there. So there's their problem. So what I don't want, just because the foot is on the ground, I don't want the weight to be back on that foot. See that? I don't want that. 
because you're not able to get the proper stability and the proper rotation. So I see that happening. By the way, those of you that are having some back issues, that may be part of the issue is you're, is you're leaning back on that leg. I still want the weight on the lead knee to stabilize. So watch, watch what's happening here when I swing through is even though my, I'm turning, this knee's coming down, but I'm getting stability here. My weight is here. This is where my weight is, it's down here. So I'm, I'm gonna give you kind of percentages. I'm sure this won't be exactly correct, but in my, in my address, let's say I'm 50-50, okay? My backswing, the pressure on the inside of the leg is probably 75%. The minute I transition, 75% goes to the lead foot. I keep it there. Like over here, it's about 90%. All the way to here, it's still 90%, and then it's 100%. So, so it's basically to the top, 75 in the, in the trail leg, 75%, 90%, 90%, 100%. So notice that from the top of the swing in the transition, a majority of the weight is on the lead leg and it stays there. That's why you must keep the knee flexed for stability. So watch when I make this swing here, the lead knee, once it flexes, it stays there. It must stay in its angle because if I lose its angle, I see this a lot, I fall back, weight goes back here, can't get to the ball. So here we go. Watch, this, watch the transition, watch the stability, and watch the lead knee. And you can see that it goes boom through. Stabilization, bang, rotation, that's what's producing the speed. So just because you keep your trail foot down doesn't mean to lose speed, but you want to make sure the weight is still stabilizing into the lead knee, right? So you get that stability and keep it there because I don't want you falling back. You will lose speed and you won't be able to hit the ball well if you're falling back on the trail foot. The future's